Sam Bertbol So to further the Nina Bertbol We are severing media dari sini Which is we have We need to have a uh, EF Important one EF is the effective micro, uh, micro, uh, micro And then we also need a molasses And then we need a uh, soil Okay When we can we add uh, some uh, pig moss And also the last one we have a rice rice
here then you will let it uh, dry for one or two weeks until it stabilize okay okay that's it There are many in factors that influences the quality of the agricultural productions and one of it is the health of the soil. As such, a, a healthy soil will produce a better quality of agricultural productions. Um, this is because healthy soil will have healthy soil ecology, uh, which means that there are complete sets of interactions between the microorganisms, which are um, biological, chemical and physical interactions between the microorganisms and healthy soil ecology will create a barrier that prevent uh, diseases from infecting the plants so the plants are healthier and the agricultural products will be healthier as well um, so the presence of these microorganisms will differentiate the soil uh, between living soil and dead soil living soil means that there are microorganisms that interact actively in, in the soil while that soil is the opposite. Uh, so to attain this living soil, the, the farmers usually use uh, animal manure which is uh, animal poops, um, composest and tea composest to improve the soil quality because all of this waste contains nutrients in them. How EM works as fertilizer. Upon use, EM brings many benefits to the table, one of them being disease suppression. As mentioned before, EM consists of optimally balanced populations of microorganisms, mainly photosynthesizing bacteria, lactic acid bacteria, and yeast. These microorganisms use up available resources and starve pathogenic microbes. The photosynthetic bacteria harvest energy from the sun and soil heat and use it to convert root exudates, organic fraction and gases like ammonia into nutrients. These nutrients, firstly, maintain growth of beneficial microorganisms in soil and secondly, can be absorbed directly into plants to promote plant growth. The yeast in EM produce hormones and enzymes that help plant cell and root division. The plant roots, along with photosynthetic bacteria, secretes amino acids and sugars that yeast utilize to produce growth factors for the lactic acid bacteria. Next, the lactic acid bacteria produce lactic acid from sugars and carbohydrates produced by photosynthetic bacteria and yeast. It also has sterilizing effects and offers protection against nematode-associated plant disease. So, we can see the species of organisms in EM has a synergy where they complement each other and are in a mutually beneficial relationship with elements in the system, bringing much more benefits. Plants would therefore grow exceptionally well in soils inhabited and dominated by EM. Effective microorganism mud balls can also be used in water treatment. The water quality of the majority of the water sources such as lake, river has been degraded due to continuous pouring of pollutant in the water which lead to an excessive growth of algae, bacteria and large amount of rotten organic material called sludge. This factor causes large damage to the water sources. Sludge contains bacteria that produce harmful gases such as methane, ammonia, and hydrogen sulfide by decomposing organic matter without oxygen. Algae can also produce toxins that are harmful to the human and the sea marine. This can be overcome by using mud balls. Mud balls have the capacity to degrade the sludge, remove harmful gases, increase the dissolved oxygen, and preserve the diversity of the ecosystem. This method has been used in single sobulon water, which improved the river water quality classification from class 4 to class 3. 
how EM mud ball works is that by consuming the sludge that is present in the water body, the lactic acid bacteria in the EM prevents bad bacteria from interfering with this process. The sludge that was broken down then can be consumed by the bacteria and microorganisms present in the water body, clearing up the sludge built up. As EM decomposes sludge, the water quality improves and the ecosystem is returned to normal which furthermore allows biodiversity to return and thrive in the area. Next, wastewater treatment is a process used to remove contaminants from wastewater or sewage and convert it into an effluent that can be returned to the water cycle. Once the mud ball is thrown into the wastewater, effective microbes will restore the microbial activity and consume the organic matter and nutrient in the water. In addition, it will activate the sludge in the bottom and reduce the quantity of sludge sitting on the bottom. Mud ball also has the potential to solve the problem regarding wastewater because it positively reduces the level of turbidity, biological oxygen demand BOD, chemical oxygen demand COD, and it makes water suitable again for recycling process. So we're going to talk about how EM that uh, help uh, the wastewater to be like accessible one more time for alternative ways. First of all, we have to understand what the meaning of wastewater, what we call it as a wastewater. Wastewater means like as a water which has a high, uh, high concentration of heavy metals, BOD and COD and even the pH is high. All of this causing many stages, which is will be first of all that is gonna change in the color of the water. It's gonna also uh, like it's gonna be like as a barrier to make the sun not penetrate the, the water and and, uh, and like uh, like decrease the the oxygen weight inside the water. Also, we can say that like the the bacteria is gonna be in the top, so it's also gonna be like as a barrier for penetration for the sunlight. All of that is causing uh, a wastewater. So all of this is all of this how it can be helped by the EM. EM have a special ability. It can uh, first of all it can help to utilize the some bacteria which is gonna reduce the COD, which is like it's, it's good it's, it's good to do that. It's like it's gonna help us for doing that. Second is also absorbing all of the zinc and all of the heavy materials that is inside the, the water is also changing the color is work as a filtration uh, for the water which what we need literally so for the I have a simple paper that I search for and stated some numbers that is amazing we say for this EM and we can see that uh, uh, it's reducing the concentration of BOD COD and zinc as much 84% 90% 78% regardless and this is like a really huge numbers so that's why EM is one of the most efficient way to help to as a wastewater treatment for the rivers or like for other applications or for the other like wastewaters it's so it's so effective and also making the environment uh, like looks more clean and beautiful and the more important thing is is helping the marine creatures which is like inside the rivers and inside the and inside the lakes which is like make him make them like have a better uh marine uh marine life or like better life under under the lakes and under the rivers so and uh, thank you so much for listening and i will uh put a reference for my paper and i hope you have a good day